Hey YouTube, it's BC13 guys here. Please don't mind my background, it's not my computer. I'm going to teach you how to reboot your second generation iPod Touch on the tethered jailbreak once you shut it down without having to re-jailbreak from step 5. Okay, over on the right there will be a link. Will you please download that now? Alright, I'm going to show you while it's downloading. And what we got to do is you'll see your non-responsive iPod and it won't turn on so yeah you have to re jailbreak it from step 5 but there's an easier solution what you're going to do is plug your iPod into the computer okay and if you look right here a error should pop up see USB device not recognized so what you're going to do is it should be done downloading by now so you're going to extract the software and put it into like any folder you can name it new folder you can name it whatever you want I named it reboot iPod um okay what you're going to do is you're going to double click on the one click boot and it's going to say waiting for an iPod in DFU mode and that means you didn't put it in DFU mode yet so what you got to do is exit out of that just stay in your folder and put it in DFU mode. Hold the home and power button for 10 seconds. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6. Okay, now hold the home button for 8 seconds. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, there we go. We got it. Now it's in DFU mode. So what you're going to do is wait for iTunes because it's going to pop up. So just walk over, exit out of that really quick. Okay, it's going to say you must restore, blah, 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 just skip that. Okay, bring it over here. Now click on the one-click boot, and there, do this. Your iPod screen will go white, and then black again. And that means that it worked. Well, as you see here, it still did everything, but it never did it right. So what you gotta do is it doesn't do it right, because this probably still has some bugs in it. Just re-put it into DFU mode. And then wait for it the second time. Okay, now click double click on the folder. It might work, your iPod screen went white. And it works correctly, your iPod screen will go white, or it'll go white, then black, and once it goes black, it'll boot right back up. See, it didn't work for me that time either. So what I'm going to try to do is, this is, let me zoom in on my camera. I'm going to double click here, and now I'm going to try it with this open. Sometimes it works either way, it really doesn't matter how you do it. So let me try it with it open, and it'll start automatically as soon as it goes into DFU mode. You'll know when it goes in DFU mode, because it will start right away. Now I'm on second chime. Wait for it. Read about now. Should be going on. See, it's going, it's going. And it still didn't work. Well, YouTube, I don't know what to say. Um, if it just doesn't work from then, I guess you're screwed out of luck. You have to do it from step five. I'm not sure exactly why it's not why it's not working right now, but I'd have to ask Wilta. So yeah, there we go. It worked that time, YouTube. So you just have to do a couple times if it doesn't work. Most of the time, it starts off right away. It's a lot easier than going from step five. Sometimes step five was quicker. Um, please subscribe, download the link in the description if you have it in the uh, side and I will make a video on how to reboot it from step 5 thanks for watching YouTube have a good day